Hey Warriors, wanted to come in here on this Wednesday evening and um, dive into Psalms 9. This is uh, also going to be a short one because I really want to focus on one verse in particular that really stood out to me, but I'll paraphrase a little bit what, about what the chapter is. And just like he ended in um, how David ended in Psalms 8, talking about how excellent Jesus' name is. He starts Psalms 9 by talking about praising his name. He says, I will praise you, Lord. I'm going to tell everyone about the wonderful things that you've done. I sing praises to your name. And then he talks about how Jesus has destroyed his enemies and that he judges fairly. Um, and then verse 10 which is a verse I want to, to um, really hone in on here. And I'm going to read it over here. Um, for those who know your name, trust in you. For you, O Lord, do not abandon those who search for you or, for, who, for, or who seek for you. Um, so those who know your name, trust in you. So do we know his name? Because if we do, our relationship with him is going to be completely different, or we're actually going to have a relationship with him. Those who do not know his name do not have a relationship in him. They do not trust in him. They do not hope in him. They do not rest in him. They do not have that peace that they would have if they knew his name. They don't feel, uh, they don't see him as their strong tower. Um, they don't know the power that is in his name, the healing power that is in his name, the saving power that is in his name, because they don't have that relationship. They haven't had that experience with him because, in fact, they do not seek him. They're not looking for him. They're looking at the world. In fact, you can tell those people in more than one way, but those people will also be willing to take his name in vain because they don't. They don't, it doesn't have any meaning to him, to them. They don't have any fear of the Lord. You know, there's no reverence. There's no worshiping of him. Um, they don't fear him. So they don't, uh, you know, they don't know his name in this relational way that we should all know him. And so that is, and then also like Mary, let's talk about Mary. She had that relationship with him. She came to his feet. In fact, she anointed his feet with oil and she and dried off his feet with her hair because of the relationship there. She knew him. She loved him for all that he had done for her. And also we should also know that feel that same way because we know what he has done for us. Each of us, we know exactly what he's done for us when we come to him and um, the sins that he's washed away for and cleansed us, each and every one of us, because we know his name. We hope in him. We trust in him. And we should be building, I'm going to, this is, I'm just really honing in on relationship with him because it is where everything is at. It's where he's at. He's where it's where he wants us to be at. Is at his feet, in relationship with him. And when we come to him and seek him, which is also the second part of this verse, he rewards those who seek him. We we start to hear his voice more. We get to enjoy that relationship. We can hear him talking to us. He um, rewards us with his presence, with a manifestation of himself in so many different ways that you don't get to experience that unless you have relationship. So um, we should be, and when also talking about seek him first, seek the kingdom first, everything that's of God, and then all of these other things will be added unto you because you have come to him first. You know his name. So one of the things that you can do, and I've talked about this before, is uh, we all should be talking to him. We should be actually having a relationship with him. Say And ask him, Jesus, what name do you want me to know you by? And he has so many of them because he is the great I am. So ask him, and he'll tell you. Um, there'll be, if you have opened up that line of communication to him and you're waiting at his feet, um, 
in sitting with him and actually asking him questions, he will give you the answers if you're just listening. Um, so it's all about relationship, people, my way, your friends, knowing his name, knowing what he's done for you, building that relationship. It changes your entire life when you know his name. So that's wrapping up Psalms 9. Um, the next time I'll come to you with Psalms 10. You guys have a great evening.